Craig, John is a good owner. Remember he where he bought it from. <clears throat> so let me just say this. There are aspects of FSG that I think are are pretty cool and that I'm all right with. And there are certain things that they have done that have somewhat redeemed some of the stupidity that we've seen from them. And you've probably noticed my stance has softened somewhat on the owners. But no matter what happens, I can't personally get past the fact that they hoodwinked everyone. And they weren't on their own, but they signed us up to a project without any consultation that would have removed our heritage. And to do that without any consultation of stakeholders, manager, players, fans, I don't, I can never forgive that. I can't. No matter what else they do, and I certainly will credit them for the good stuff as I've tried to do, I can't get past that. Because that was so duplicitous. Um, Yeah, so I can't. I never, ever get over that. So was Jordan Henderson, by the way. Jordan Henderson, being the club captain, was on a pretty good wage as well. So Liverpool have, have removed uh, quite a bit of the wage books. Now, Mohamed Salah has got a new deal, deserved a new deal. Uh, and his wages have gone up. Verge and Trent are going to sign new deals and their wages will go up. But yeah, look, it certainly gives you more wiggle room, right? And I'm sure there are probably going to be one or two more. So yeah, we, we've replaced some of the higher earners with some younger, hungrier players who have to earn the big money. One thing I'll always give FSG credit on is the way that they've incentivized contracts. I hate anybody coming into a football club that immediately gets given top whack unless they've proved it elsewhere. But to see the fact that they bring in players and, and they do reward them, they say to these guys, come in, show us what you can do, deliver. Your contract is incentivized. The better you do, the more you score, the more you get paid. And then if you prove it over a two, three year period, to be fair to FSG, they've genuinely compensated the guys quite well. So for that regard... Very clever. I like the policy they brought in with the younger players and, you know, making sure that they don't get overpaid too young. I'm really grateful for the new training ground that Jurgen Klopp wanted. I'm really grateful for the main stand on the Annie Road end. But also, at the same time, there is another part of me that knows it's the cheaper option over building a new stadium. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't make it wrong. The work they've done around Anfield is night and day from when I first start going to Anfield. It's incredibly uh, more vibrant. Um, they gave us Jurgen Klopp, which again is a fantastic thing. I'm being a bit selfish when I say this, right? They don't care. And that hurts. Now... Maybe you say, Craig, they don't care, but they make the right business decisions. And that's a fair point. You, you, when in business, I guess, sometimes you, you remove the emotion from a decision. But I tell you what, I'd love an owner who's there every week and celebrating and showing emotion. I'd love that. I would. I'd love that. And that's the part of it as well that just feels a little bit sterile with FSG. The fact that they're very rarely over. 